Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. My neighbour Ricky didn't know her own strength, so in this video we'll be repairing the handle on her garden fork. We'll start by cutting off the old handle with an angle grinder. I really should have put my apron on first before I did this. Now we'll grind off the rivet from the plastic D handle. Then knock it out with a punch. I'll use my hammer to tap the handle loose. This metal part of the original handle is too thin for me to weld, so we'll make a new handle from this piece of steel pipe. I'll start by marking the length, then cutting it to size with the angle grinder. Now we'll visit our makeshift anvil to flatten the end of the pipe. It's important to keep this seam line in the middle while you hammer it. We need to flatten this end to be able to weld it to the fork. This way we only have a small gap to be bridged with the weld metal. I'll use this wood block to hold the fork tines and handle at the correct angle to each other. Then I'll use another garden fork to check that angle. Next I'll attach the ground cable, prepare a welding rod, and tack weld the front side. Now I'll turn the fork over and seam weld the back side. Galvanised steel is an unpleasant material to weld, and it's best to do this welding outdoors. Now we need to chip off the slag. This slag is a necessary part of stick welding. It shields the white-hot filler metal from the oxygen in the atmosphere while it cools. Now we can turn the fork over again and seam weld the front side. We do the welding this way because the seam welded metal contracts when it cools and without these tack welds in place it would pull the whole joint out of alignment. Now we can clean the weld up with a wire brush. The new steel pipe's almost exactly the same diameter as the old wooden handle, so we can reuse the plastic D handle. First I'll need to drill the two holes through the pipe. Now I can use this nail and two washers to rivet the D-handle to the pipe. I'll use this big block of steel as an anvil. You use the ball end of the hammer to round over the rivet. That's all finished, so I'll just hand it over to Ricky for a test. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.